Welcome to the Holly Area Community Show. I'm your host Jody, and I'm here at Holly High School because it's a big week this week. It's homecoming week, which is why I'm wearing my retro 1970s and 80s Holly Booster hat. Wore this last year. It's the one week I can get by with wearing it. And I'm here today with Mark Pronto, the president of the Holly Student Council. Welcome to the show. And Veronica Newman, the secretary of the Holly Student Council. Welcome. So we're going to talk about what's going on this week because it, I would say, is the most fun week of the school year. Would you not agree? Almost Probably. definitely. Yeah. So we're just going to talk about the different days. That's traditional, that every day something different is done. But every year it's a little different. So let's talk about Monday. What's going on Monday? Well, for homecoming week, every day of the week there's a theme of which we dress the school. And so on Monday is a pack rat day where we basically anything goes. You wear anything you want. Mix match to colored socks, just pile on clothing. It's crazy day. I've seen tutus. I've seen um, helmets at like at the same time. So it's it's kind of fun. It's it's really fun. Yeah. So now you do something different at lunchtime as well. Is that right? At lunch we do something different every day. On Monday we're having a zebra cake eating contest. Okay. What's a zebra cake? A zebra cake is if you know what a Twinkie is. It's kind of just a small. Oh, okay. Little Debbie. Little Debbie. Okay. Yes. And the contestants will just try to eat as many as they can in a couple minutes. And wow. It's very messy, but it's the highlight of lunch. <laughs> so can is anybody can anybody do that, or do you draw names, or how does that work? Yep. Anyone that wants to. What? And there's a certain number in each grade that we allow, but okay. first person to come up there usually gets to participate. Oh, good times. Okay. How about Tuesday? Well, on Tuesday, the dressing would be uh, Heritage slash Grandparents Day. So all the students in Holly High are encouraged to wear, dress up like their grandparents or something from their heritage. Like, for me, I'm mostly French, so I would dress up in a beret or something like wow. that. Wow. So do you own a beret? Are you going to dress French? I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Interesting. Okay. And so what's happening at lunch? At lunch, we're having a huge conga line, and that's where... We get in this big line and we go like this just around the school and conga. So you just go in a line around the school. Does yeah. music play? Is there silence while you're doing this? Or I'm like... sure we'll sing along if we don't have music. But Have you ever done this before? No, this is new. Oh, wow. I would like to experience that. I would like to see that. Wonderful. Okay, how about Wednesday? Well, on Wednesday, it's favorite color day. So all the students are encouraged to wear their favorite colors. Everything, the socks, pants, shoes, shirt, whatever they can do. Paint their skin. Whatever. Whatever is your favorite color, we're encouraged to wear it. Oh, well, that's nice and simple, right? Because I'm sure you want kids to participate, right? And so it's kind of nice to have a real simple day that everyone can do. How about for lunch? At lunch, we're having a mini carnival. We'll, we'll do, like, carnival games like beanbag toss, or we might have a weird human tricks contest or something <laughs> like that, anything carnival-related. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, that brings us to Thursday. Well, on Thursday is Twin Day. And no, it's not the Minnesota Twins, but it's where you choose someone, like me and Ronnie here, and we decide <laughs> to dress identical to each other, like we were twins. Oh. Dress the same clothes, the same hair, or whatever. Have you ever done that before? No, that one would be a new one, too. Wow, you guys have a lot of creative ideas. How about lunch? What's going on then? Lunch, we are having a huge dance party to get ready for the dance that we'll have <laughs> Friday. So I'll play some music at lunch, and we're all just going to dance in the hallways. Wow, who's your DJ? Uh, that would probably be Terry in the office. <laughs> <laughs> Too fun. That's another day I'd like to see. Okay, so now we're at Friday, right? Yep, Which is kind of the climax of homecoming, right? Yep, that's when the homecoming football game is that night. And we have the homecoming pep fest during the afternoon for all students. And um, so it's uh, all uh, spirit day. Basically wear all of the nugget gear that you can. And yes, you can borrow this hat. I don't have a problem as long as you give it back. So, okay. okay. And how about for lunch? Instead of lunch, this is kind of an all day, whenever you have free time kind of thing, but the art club, it's tradition for them to paint people's faces. So whenever you have an opening or they have an opening, they'll just paint your face. It's usually done in the mornings, but it can oh. also be done at lunch. Oh, that sounds like fun. And so you must also have coronation. When is that happening? Uh, coronation happens on Monday. Okay. And, Seven uh, o'clock? Seven o'clock. Okay. And then you have a volleyball game, correct? Yep. Is that Tuesday? Yep. Tuesday. Tuesday, obviously at home because it's homecoming. And then the football game is on Friday. And who are you playing? Roseville. 
Rozo, interesting. Okay, any other events that you want to talk about? Um, and, and I know the student council takes a very active role in planning these activities. And so um, we'll take a little break and then we're going to talk more about the student council and what you do on a regular basis. So happy homecoming. We'll be right back. And we're back with Mark Pronto and Veronica Newman, uh, the president and secretary of the Holly Student Council. And so I'm just curious about the student council here um, and what kind of role you play. But first of all, um, what prompted you to run for student council? Well, I always enjoyed leadership activities. And student council, I found, is a great way to express those leadership qualities. And I just love um, helping and making the school a more fun and better place. Mm -hmm. How about you? I ran because also leadership, but I also like to have a say in what goes on in the school, so I thought this would be a great way to take part. So you're kind of a control freak. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, what, you know, what happens when, do, does, when school begins in the fall? Do you get together? Do you get together in the summer? When do you start talking about what you want to accomplish for the year? Well, the student council, um, meets, they get voted in in the springtime right before summer starts. And so then we can do things during the summer. Okay. We don't meet too often in the summertime. However, we did, as this year, we did a foreign exchange student potluck for all the new students and foreign exchange students. And all the student councils, all student council members brought in a food item and then we all just uh, welcomed the new students. Oh, that's neat. Is that something new that you did this year or have you done that in the past? We tried it the year before, but it didn't get do quite as well as we did this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's also helpful to have it in the summer because like this year's homecoming came early, so we need to start oh. planning and get a DJ and everything set up early. Wow, so what are some of the other events that you have planned for the upcoming year? Well, for Thanksgiving, we did this last year and it was a big hit. It's called Turkey Bingo. And we all have our bingo cards in the last couple minutes of each class. We call out bingo numbers, and if you win, you have to gobble all the way down to the office where you get a prize. And if people don't hear you gobbling over the intercom, then you don't win. Wow, that sounds fun. Okay, yeah. what else? So that's Thanksgiving. Yep. What else happens? Well, also uh, during Valentine's Day, we, give, we do a crushes program where we, the students are, can buy crush pops. And then on Valentine's Day, we serve them to people that they were given to. So if I went up to the table, I would write a little note to someone and buy a pop to send to them on Valentine's Day. Wow. Did you do this last year? Uh, we've done this for quite a few years. Yeah. You must have had cases of it last year. What did you do with all that pop? <laughs> okay, so that's Valentine's Day. So is there anything that happens in the spring? Well, going back for Christmas, we do the 12 days of Christmas. Oh, okay. So for each day, we do something different. Like on the 11th day, we always do get out 11 minutes early. Or maybe another day, they'll get a 12-ounce can of pop or a free pencil, something like that. Wow, you have a lot of stuff going on during the school year. What about the spring? Anything that you sponsor then, or do you kind of wind down? That's more when we wind down, like when we elect new people for the upcoming year. Uh, it's kind of a transition period. Wonderful. Wow. So it sounds like you guys have a busy year. And then do you talk about issues, too, that happening in the school? Or, or is it mainly event-driven? Well, most of the things that we do are events, since we are formed just to help make school a more fun place. But however, we do do a few issues. Like last year, our big issue d throughout the year was um, is um, cell phone usage and what should and shouldn't be allowed, as well as with food and beverages. Oh, wow, wonderful. Well, it sounds like you have a great student council, very active, and I really appreciate the two of you coming to visit today. And once again, happy homecoming.